Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to the point of sale uh, sales item attributes webinar. My name is Sarah and I'll be hosting this webinar today. Just have a couple of things to go through before we get started. Uh, first being, you've probably noticed your phones are muted. This is just to minimize background noise throughout the presentation. So if you do have any questions for me, please go ahead and use the chat box or the Q&A box to ask any questions and you can access those by hovering your mouse at the top of the screen. I will try to answer all questions when I see them come through, um, but if I do find that there are some that maybe are coming up in future slides or just aren't relevant to what we're talking about at the moment, I will have to save them until the end. I will answer all questions uh, by the end of this presentation. A copy of this session will also be available to you in PDF and we are recording, so the video of this presentation will be available at www.jonassupport.com under the resources and training tab. So what do you expect? Uh, these webinars are just to enhance your knowledge of Jonas. They're not to be taken as in place of proper training. Um, they are just, we do expect that you have a base knowledge of the point of sale system before taking these webinars. Uh, this one, I, it's, it's typically about approximately 50 minutes of information with 10 minutes for question and answer. Uh, this one I find does run a little bit shorter because it is just such a small part of a big module. Uh, so we will have more time for questions at the end. So sales attributes, this is a new feature in the version 12.7 and what it does is it allows you to assign different traits or attributes to sales items. So these traits can be attached to sales items and they can also be attached to members' accounts as likes or dislikes. So what this allows you to do at the point of sale is track what members like and don't like and match them up with sales items that you have in your system that, that uh, have those traits attached to them and just deliver better service to your members. So what that could be is you see Mr. Smith coming in and it pops up that he likes Titleist golf balls. You can have that Titleist golf ball sitting right up on the counter so he can walk up and, and pick it up. Uh, so it allows for more upsell opportunity. What it also allows for is better tracking of food intolerances. So if you know that Mrs. Brown has a food intolerance to nuts, you would attach the trait of dislikes nuts to her account and then any food that has nuts in it would also have that trait and it would pop up at the point of sale when you're trying to sell her that. So we'll go through how to set that up and then also how to use it at the point of sale. So the first thing you need are to set up the actual attributes. So this is just a code and a description for each attribute that you wish to track. You can find this under point of sale, system setup, and then sales attributes. So what you need is a description. So this is the code the attribute falls under as well as a message. So if you do want to see the message pop up when a member tries to buy an item that they dislike, this is the message that you'll see. So this item contains nuts in this example. From this screen, you can attach attributes to individual items, whole categories, or individual members. So this is how you would assign individual items and categories. It just takes you to the screen that lets you choose your sales items or your category. Once you have that list populated of all the items in your system that uh, this attribute pertains to, you'll click on Update. Then you'll see a list of all of the items and all of the categories that this attribute is already attached to. You can also attach attributes from the Sales Item Setup screen. So if you're in Point of Sale, System Setup, and then Sales Items, what you'll do is click on the Attributes button, which is off to the right-hand side. And then you can link all the different attributes that you've set up to individual sales items. You can do this for categories as well. So under point of sale, system setup, sales categories, you'll go to the attributes tab and then assign the attribute that applies to the whole category of items. Once you have them linked to your sales items, what you can do is actually start to attach them to members accounts. So in a member account, which is club management, member file, set up edit members, and then attributes, which is an option off to the right, you can attach different attributes that you have set up as likes or as dislikes for your members. So for this member account, which happens to be mine, um, I've attached a dislike of nuts, which means that I'm either allergic, intolerant, or I just don't like nuts, so please don't sell me anything that has nuts or nut products in it. You can also link them to members from the sales attribute setup screen. So instead of having to go into each individual member profile, you can go to point of sale system, system setup, sales attributes, 
and then assign members. Here's where you'll select all of your members or import the list from a spreadsheet. And then update this list so you know everybody who either dislikes or likes this item. Once you have your sales attributes attached to your items and attached to your members, you'll want to put some buttons on your point of sale menu so that you can actually start using them. So in point of sale, system setup, quick setup menu design, the MLD member like slash dislike button will allow you to actually inquire when a member is, is processing an order on what they like and what they don't like. So now you can start using your sales attributes. So there are a couple different ways to do inquiries and start using attributes. I'll go through the first one here first. So the under point of sale, chip processing, start a new chip. Up in your toolbar, you should see an option called other options, and then you'll click on attributes inquiries. You can inquire on individual attributes or on member likes or dislikes. So if you're inquiring on attributes, that would be a situation where members come up and said, I really like Titleist. What products do you have that are Titleist? You would inquire on the attribute of Titleist, and it would actually give you a list of sales items assigned to the, that attribute. And you can tell the system right then and there whether it's a like or a dislike for this member. So if you're doing an inquiry on Titleist, which is what the member likes, it will actually give you a list of items down here in the bottom left uh, that are assigned to the Titleist attribute or any attribute that you're choosing to inquire on. From here, you can actually double click on the item and pull it over to the right hand side and actually add that item right from here to the chit. You can sell it right from this inquiry screen. If you try to sell something with an attribute that has a member dislike, so in my example, the nuts uh, option, this message will pop up saying contains nuts, do not sell. And you can actually say continue and continue to sell the item if the member says, yes, for sure, I know that, that's fine. Or you can go back and actually try to select a new item. So it does just give your servers a warning that heads up, this is something the member does not like. So I'll pull into Jonas here and we can actually go through some of those menu options where we just were. So to set up your sales items, your sales attributes, you'll go to point of sale system, system setup, and then sales attributes, which is right here. And then you'll choose an attribute off of the list or you can actually add a new one. So for our nuts example, you give it a code you can say to display the message for dislikes once or always, so one time for that member or every time something with that attribute is ordered. And then this is the message that will be popped up when they dislike it and it's being ordered. From here, you can go over to assign items, assign categories, or assign members. So those three things will all assign items, categories, or members to this attribute based on it being a like or a dislike. So the assign item screen, again, you'll just have to choose your items off the list that contain that. So you would double click on it, hit update, and then you'll see it pop over to this side. So these are my items that have the nuts attribute associated with them. Assign categories allows you to do a whole category of items. So you would choose your category off the list, hit update, and then you'll see it pop over to this side. Assign members shows you all the members who have this assigned and whether or not it's a like or a dislike. So your members, uh, as you assign them, you'll pull up your member list, choose your member, and then say whether it's L, which is like, or D, which is dislike. So I'll leave this person at like and hit update. You'll see I have two members now with this attribute. I have a like for him and a dislike for me. Once you have those things attached, you can also do attach them from the item screen or the category screen. So from system setup, sales items, which is where you'll create your individual sales items, you can actually go to the item, click on attributes, which is over to the right, and then you can actually assign the attributes here to this individual item. So this item now is noted in the system as containing that can do the same thing with your sales categories. So if it's a whole category of item that, is, that this would fall under, 
you can do it right from here. So system setup, sales categories, click on attributes. And then you can see these are all the attributes that are assigned to this category. You can assign attributes to the member account by going to club management, member file, set up edit members. From here, you'll choose your member and then click on attributes, which is off to the right again. And this is where you can see all of my likes and my dislikes for each partition. When you're processing an order in the point of sale, you can start to do inquiries on attributes when you start a new chit. So you'll go start a new chit uh, for this member. From here, you can take a look at the member like or dislike. So I can see that nuts is a dislike, so all of these items match my dislike. If this was a like, what I could do is actually order an item off of this list. So for example, the chicken avocado sandwich, double click, and I'll add the item to the chit, and you'll see how it actually will get a pop-up because I have it as a dislike saying do not sell. If I hit continue, it will still add it to my chit. So that is actually all the material I have for you today. Um, I will go ahead and open it up for questions now, so just give me one second to unmute the phones. And please keep in mind if you don't have any questions to uh, leave your phone on mute just so that we can minimize some of the background noise. Line unmuted. Okay, so phone should be unmuted now if anybody has any questions for me at this time. Okay, I'm actually not hearing any questions, so I will stay on the line just in case anyone is feeling shy. Um, you can find a copy of this video presentation at jonasupport.com under resources and training. And you can also find a PDF version of these slides, again, jonasupport.com under resources and training. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.